The United Methodist Church is the third largest denomination in America, and it says it has more than 470,000 professing members right here in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. T.C. Morrow is one of them. I was uh, commissioned as a provisional deacon here in the Baltimore, Washington Annual Conference. Morrow is also gay. She had to fight for years just to take part in the church's ordination process. Now it's that church's inability to agree on how to treat its LGBTQ members that could lead to its split. It is bittersweet to have have to be at this moment. Last year, division amongst United Methodists showed in St. Louis when members couldn't agree on whether the church should ordain gay members or conduct same-sex marriages. Now, 16 Methodist leaders from diverse backgrounds have proposed potentially dividing the church into different denominations to better fit its liberal and conservative factions. There certainly is some amount of potential relief for me uh, personally of, of what this uh, might mean. But Morrow said her first reaction was heartbreak. She says if the church votes to split in May, many of its gay members will still be left in conservative congregations where they will not share the same freedoms as she has. There will be kids just like me in churches uh, regardless of what the theologies are. John Henry, WUSA 9.